only been doing this. We had a snow day, so it was only three three days and today to get it done. So if it if they fail, they fail. But it would be nice if when they fail, you were going, yeah. We kind of thought that might be where it failed because that was giving us problems all all the time we were testing. You know, it shouldn't be unexpected, right? And, and that's the sign that you've been working on it and that you know what you're doing and you've tried a lot of things. Not that you didn't try something and it just failed because you didn't know what to do there. This is the last week of our physics class. It's a semester long class at Ellis. And for the last month, we've been working on the Rube Goldberg project. So uh, we started with some mini challenges where the students just had to build small consecutive steps to solve, uh, solve a problem. So maybe they had to uh, drop a bolt into a cup or maybe they had to put out a candle. And today they're building a machine that will light a light bulb. And since it's our third and final project, it has to be much more complex. So in this project, they're incorporating pulleys and levers and uh, pendulums. Um, they have to light their light bulb using skills they learn from their electricity unit. Um, but more importantly, that's all kind of fun, but more importantly, they're learning how to uh, use the engineering design process. Three, two, one. So the engineering design process uh, doesn't always follow the same steps, but there is a, a planning part and the students have to make a drawing. They have to come in every day and plan how they're going to use this hour because it goes by really fast. So they need to learn to be specific and make goals for themselves. Once they get past that planning process and the drawing, uh, then they move into the building and testing phase and students this age like to just build and be done so this is kind of painful for them because there's a lot of there's a lot of failures and a lot of things that they thought would work that didn't so they have to persist with testing and then going back to fix it and it still doesn't work so they have to fix it again and so that's a really great skill to have in all walks of life right anytime you're failing with something you don't just give up and walk away you figure out what's wrong and try something to fix it. And if that doesn't work, you go back again and you figure out what would work the next time. It's a really good skill for them to learn.